la ba 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 ni brando ra ba shkenturi brando ro bo shanda la ba 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 man de de kru musunturi brande yas kanta la ba 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 good morning jesus good morning lord good morning jesus good morning lord I know you come from heaven to her. The Holy Spirit is on the throne. Good morning, Jesus. Good morning, Lord. Ura or Sister Esther, whoever is there, can you please share to on my from my page to Transformational Prayer Network? Good morning, Jesus. Good morning, Lord. Good morning, Jesus. Good morning, Lord. I know you come from heaven to earth. The Holy Spirit is on the throne. Good morning, Jesus. Good morning, Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessings and glory, wisdom, thanksgiving, and honor, and honor, power from be unto the Lord forever and ever. Amen. 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 Blessings and glory. Wisdom, thanksgiving, and honor, and honor, power, Rama, be unto the Lord forever and ever. Amen. 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 Blessings and glory. Wisdom, thanksgiving, and honor, and honor. Our Ramite be unto the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Unto the Lord be the glory. Great things he had done. Unto the Lord be the glory. Great things he had done. Great things he had done. Greater things he we do unto the Lord be the glory. Great things he done. Brethren, this morning let's lift up our voices as we come into the presence of God. Let's lift up our voices to thank God for what he has done in our lives. One of the things he has done is to wake us up this morning. So let's lift up our voices and begin to bless the name of the Lord. It's only, only the living that can go to work. It's only the living that can ask for money. It's only the living that can be saying, Lord, I thank you. The Bible says it's only the living. So while I, I, we have our being, let's praise the Lord. Let's enter his gate with thanksgiving this morning. Let us enter his court with praise. Let's enter his gate. Let's lift up our voices and begin to bless the name of the Lord. Number one, let's thank God for the gift of life. Let's thank God for the gift of life. So lift up your voice wherever you are and just begin to thank God for your life. Thank God for your family. Thank God for your life. Thank God for your livelihood. Thank God. Thank God for everything. Absolutely. In everything, the Bible says, let's give thanks. So let's give thanks to God. Father, this morning, we just want to say thank you. Thank you, Lord, for sleeping and waking up. Thank you, Lord, for counting us among the living and giving us a new lease of life. Thank you, Lord, for all that you have done for us, even last week. And thank you, Lord, for what you have in store for us, even this week. In the mighty name of Jesus, we give you praise. We give you glory. And as we continue to bless the name of the Lord, still in the attitude of thanksgiving, we want to lift up our voices and thank God. Because today, this morning, is our marketplace prayer. And the Bible says in Psalm 35, in verse 27, it says, Let them shout for joy and be glad, who favor my righteous cause. And let them say continually, let the Lord be magnified, who has pleasure in the prosperity of his servant. 
And third John chapter 1 in verse 2 says, Beloved, I pray that you may prosper in all things and be in health, just as your soul prospers. So as we are believing God for spiritual prosperity, as we are believing God for spiritual prosperity, we are also believing God for financial prosperity. So, and it's only God that can make it happen. The Bible says is the one that gives the power to make wealth. So this morning, let's thank God. Let's give him praise for the pleasure for prosperity. Let's give him praise this morning. Let's thank God. Let's thank God for his interest in us to make wealth, for his interest in us to prosper, to prosper in every dimension. Let's lift up our voices unto him. Let's bless the name of the Lord. Father, we thank you this morning. We give you praise. We give you glory. We thank you, Lord, for your interest, O oh God, in us prospering in every area. We are grateful this morning. Thank you, Father. Let's thank him even for what we do right now. Whatever way, however way, legitimate that we are earning income. Let's thank God for opening that door for us. Let's thank God for giving us the grace to work in that capacity. Whatever you do, let's lift up our voices unto God. Let's thank him however way that you are earning right now. Thank God for it. Thank God for your income. Thank God for your business. Thank God for every way that you are earning income. Lift up your voice unto him and just say, Father, I thank you, Lord. I thank you for opportunity that I have, O oh God, to earn a living. Because the word of God says, He who does not eat, work shall not eat. Thank you, Lord, for doors that you have opened unto me. I may have taken it for granted. It may be low. It may be small in my eyes and in the eyes of people. But, Lord, I thank you. I thank you, Lord, I'm not on the street begging. I thank you, Lord. That I don't have to. The Bible says, say it to the righteous. It shall be well with him. And they shall eat from their, from their, from their uh, earnings. That's what the Bible says in Isaiah chapter 3, in verse 10. So this morning, lift up your voice and just thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God that, Lord God, I'm not on the street begging. Lord, I thank you because that is your word, Lord. That you tell the godly Lord that it will be well with them and they will enjoy the rich reward of what they have earned. Lift up your voice and just thank him. Thank him for your earnings. Thank him for open doors. Thank you, Father, Lord, this morning. We thank you, Lord, because that is your word that we shall eat, O oh God, from the fruit of our doings, Lord. From the reward of our earnings. From the fruit of our doings. Father, we thank you. We thank you, Lord, for the work of our hands, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Still in the attitude of thanksgiving, I want us to thank God for wisdom. Wisdom in whatever we do. The Bible says God controls the course of world events. He removes kings and set up other kings. He gives wisdom to the wise and knowledge to the scholars. Wisdom to the wise and knowledge to the scholars. He revealed deep and mysterious things and knows what lies hidden in darkness, though he's surrounded by light. So let's lift up our voices unto God. He is the, he is the wisdom personified. We are looking for ideas. We are thinking of what to do, what next. The Bible says is the wisdom. The wisdom to handle our finances. The wisdom to, uh, to have ideas. The wisdom for creativity. Let's lift up our voices and thank God. Is the source. It is the source. Father, we, this morning we thank you. Lord, we praise you, O God, because you are the one that gives wisdom to the wise and knowledge to the discerning. You are the one that reveals deep and hidden things. Lord, we thank you, Lord, because you will reveal the deep and secret things even unto us, O God. Even in your word that will make us to prosper. The promises that we need to stand on. The things that we need to do. The visions, the dreams, O God. We lift our voices unto you this morning. And we just want to say thank you, Lord. 
Blessed be your name, O God. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. As, as we continue, Father, we just bless you. We magnify your name, O God, this morning. We say be magnified, O God, over our lives, over our finances, Lord. Over our livelihood, Lord. Be magnified over our businesses, over our ministries, over organizations we work for, over the, uh, the city, over our families, over the church. Father, we say be magnified, O God. Be magnified this morning. Be magnified. That is your word we are bringing back to you. Let the Lord be magnified who has pleasure in the prosperity of his servants. Father, be magnified, O God. Be magnified, O God, in every situation, Lord, this morning on this altar. Father, be magnified. Be magnified, O God. As we handle this over the altar unto you, we say be magnified in the name of Jesus. As we hand over our businesses unto you, we say, Lord, be magnified. As we hand over, Lord, our going out and our coming this morning, Father, we say be magnified in the name of Jesus. Lord, be magnified in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. We're going to lift up our voices. The Bible says, if God should mark iniquity, we can stand. But the Bible says, for judgment without mercy to the one who has shown no mercy. But I believe you guys, all of us, we have been showing mercy. The Bible says, to the merciful, God shall be merciful. So this morning, but the Bible says mercy triumphs over judgment. I don't know what judgment against us. I don't know what judgment against our families. I don't know what judgment against our businesses, against our earning. I don't know what judgment that is there. I don't know what accusation. But let's lift up our voices and pray this morning that Father, you are a merciful and gracious God. Let your mercy triumph, O Lord, over judgment, over my lives in the name of Jesus over our lives, over our families, over our finances, over our every area, Lord. Father, let your mercy terminate judgment. Maybe the accusation for someone may be, oh, you are not, she's not paying tight. Maybe for someone, she does not give. Maybe for someone, whatever that is, oh God, is a new life. Father, thank you, Lord, for opportunity to change, oh God. Father, have mercy. Let your mercy triumph over judgment. Let your mercy triumph over judgment, oh God. Let your mercy triumph over judgment in the name of Jesus. Let your mercy triumph over judgment, O God, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. And we pray this morning. The Bible says in Hebrews chapter 2 in verse 14. He says, In as much then as the children have partaken of flesh and blood, he himself likewise shared in the same. That through death he might destroy him who had the power of death, that he is the devil. So this morning, as we come into his presence, we want to thank God for the blood of Jesus. Let's lift up our voices and begin to thank God for the blood of Jesus. The devil no longer begin to declare, because of the blood, because of the blood, we have access to the throne of grace. And not just that, the devil no longer has power. Begin to declare that the devil no longer has power over me. His scheme can no longer be effective in my life. I decide that I will walk in power and authority and give the devil no place in my life. The Bible says, surrender yourself unto God and resist the devil and he will flee from you. So therefore, in this morning, I plead the blood of Jesus over my life, over my family. I plead the blood of Jesus over my finances. I plead the blood of Jesus over my work. Even over my organization where I work for, wherever you work, begin to plead the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus this day on my going out, my coming in. I plead the blood of Jesus and I redeem every second of this week with the blood of Jesus. I cover my going out, my coming in with the blood of Jesus. I cover my going out, and by the blood, devil, I resist you over my finances. I say, take your hands off. Take your hands off my work. Take your hands off my body, my spirit, my soul, my spirit. Take your hands off. Take your hands off my family. Take your hands off in the name of Jesus. I say, take your hands off. I resist you over my finances in the name of Jesus. 
in Jesus' name. And you want to pray as you resist him over your finances. You want to call up, call in your angels. Even in Hebrews 1 13 says they are meant for our assignment. Begin to call them right now to go to the west, to go to the east, to go to west, to go to the north and south, and begin to bring in your blessings. Wherever your blessings are, begin to command your angels to bring your blessings unto you. The blessings this week, on Monday, on Tuesday, on Wednesday, on Thursday, on Friday, I called forth my blessings. My angels, I set you loose right now. I command you to go to the four corners of the world and begin to bring in my blessings in the name of Jesus. My Libra Kotori Brande, Oli Brando, Rabashik Ali Brande, Robos Kenteli Brande, Moroko Kekeshendeli Brande, Lupran de Rebo, Rabas Kru Moshken de Rebo, Libranda Labas Chantali Brondo, Neprando, Rabasukru Moshen de Librande, O Berekayanda Librondo, Rabashik Atali Brande, in the mighty name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. We are still praying. We're going to lift up our voices unto God and just pray for strength for the weak. The Bible says in Psalm 18, in verse 28 to 29, it says, God, at all once, you turned on a floodlight for me. You are the revelation light in my darkness. And in your brightness, I can see the path ahead. With you as my strength, I can crush an enemy horde, advancing through every stronghold that stands in front of me. The Bible says our God is the God who was, who is, and who is to come. Is the Alpha and the Omega. Is the one that has gone ahead of us and is still the one that is with us. Is the one that can move to our back if there need be. We want to pray this morning that Father, I've just come to this week. It's a new week as I commit it into your hand, Lord. Go ahead of me and strengthen me by your anointing for this week, O God. Strengthen me by your anointing for this week, O God. For this week's task, for the assignment before me, Father, Lord Almighty, for all that I have to do. The Bible says, by strength shall not man prevail. So this morning, we have so many things, projects to complete or to start. We have tasks, we have assignments, we have everything. Some, you know, like, a pro, uh, what do they call that woman in uh, Proverbs 31? The woman that was so strong, in man she, was, she managed the home, she managed the business, she was an entrepreneur. So maybe you are on this altar this morning, you are on the, at the, uh, under the sound of my voice, and you are combining many things, you are the housewife, you are the mom, you are the that super mom, you are the uh, entrepreneur, you are still probably you even have a you, know, you have a work somewhere. You are doing many things and still you are a minister of God. You are doing more like five things. You are divided in many places. You need that strength. You need that grace. It's not something you know that you can do by yourself. So this morning I want you to lift up your voice and just pray that Father, the strength that I need, that grace that I need, oh God, that your grace that you need, the strength you need may be different from what I need. Depends on what we do. So let's lift up our voices and begin to say, Father, with you, O oh God, as my strength, I can do all things possible. I can do all things. Strengthen me, O oh God. Strengthen me, O oh God. Strengthen me for the task ahead of me. Strengthen me, O oh God, for all my assignment. Strengthen me, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Somebody, I hope you're lifting up your voice and pray that Father, strengthen me, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. My Libra Kotore Brende, Leprado Rabashinda Rababa. Oh Lord, strengthen me in the name of Jesus. Strengthen me, O oh God. Father, strengthen each and every one of us. Strengthen every member of our households, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Strengthen our family members, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Is that anyone that is weary? Is that anyone else that is tired? Oh, Rekalibrando Rabashinda Rababa. We receive strength, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Not just for us on this altar, but for every member of our families, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. We receive strength, O oh God, unto the Lord. Oh, yes, Father Lord. Oh, God, we have come, oh God. We have come to the Father to renew strength, oh God. We renew new strength, oh God. In the Rabakuri Masun to Rebrande, Oli Brando, Rakashinda Rabba, Romushkendelebo, in Jesus' name. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says, refuse to worry about tomorrow, but deal with each challenge that comes your way. One day at a time, tomorrow will take care of itself. So this morning, I hand over, lift up your voice and just say, Father, I hand over today into your hands, Lord. I know you have brought me into today. You provide my needs, Lord. Father, Lord Almighty, I surrender today into your hands. In the name of Jesus, have your way. I would. I refuse to worry. I reject worry. I reject worry. I surrender every need into your hands, Lord. And I know you will take care of me. If you can take care of birds, you will take care of me. Father, Lord, every care, every concern, I surrender to you. In the name of Jesus, my Libra Kotori Brande. I expel worry from my heart this morning. I refuse to worry in Jesus' name. Amen. I want you to declare this morning. The Bible says in Deuteronomy chapter 33 in verse 23. It says, Moses said this about tribe of Naphtali. O Naphtali, you are rich in favor and full of the Lord's blessing. May you possess the west and south. I want you to lift up your voice and begin to declare. I shall be satisfied with favor. I shall be filled with blessings of the Lord. I shall be satisfied with favor. I shall be filled with the blessings of the Lord. I shall possess the west and the south in the mighty name of Jesus. I shall be satisfied with favor. I shall be filled with the blessings of the Lord. I shall possess the west and the south in the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I shall be satisfied with favor. I shall be filled with the blessings of the Lord. I shall possess the west and the south in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. Good morning, amen. So I'm your new anchor for Monday. Hallelujah. I'm your new anchor for Monday. My name is Dabola. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Okay, so our... Prophecy for the year says, Arise from the depression and prostration in which circumstances have kept you. Rise to a new life. Shine, be radiant, and the glory of the Lord. For your light has come, and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. You know, in verse 2, it said, There shall be gross darkness, but the glory of the Lord shall be upon you. The truth is, winners are the people. Who, when the odds are stacked against them and those around them are falling, we have the courage to look within themselves and make the unbelievable believable and the impossible possible. That inside the darkness, inside the darkness, uh, you will find something to do. You know, if you remember the woman in First King, First King chapter seventeen, you know the widow of Sarephath. It was depression at that time. It was uh, there was financial distress, and the woman was like, "I will kill myself." But thank God for an Elijah that came by her. And Elijah, she was about to die. She had a last meal. But Elijah said, "Why don't you prioritize uh, your need and what you have?" Why don't you first give to God? Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all else shall be added unto you. And the woman complied. And the Bible says, The jar of meal shall not waste away, or the bottle of oil fat, until the day the Lord send rain on the hut. You will not, you will not lack. You may not have the work, you may not have the water, you may not have the wind, but you will not lack provision. And she did as Elijah said, and she and he and her housemate ate for many days. The jar of meal was not spent, nor did the bottle of oil fill, according to the word which the Lord spoke through Elijah. I want somebody to lift up your voice this morning. Things are still happening. Businesses are still closed. Things are not like it used to be. Many of us, we are earning halfway income. Uh not what we used to do some people started business but because of what happened since last year it has not taken off you don't have that clientele you don't have that uh, uh business happening so things are happening all over but you want to lift up your voice that in the midst of darkness father by your mercy, open my eyes to the hidden and untapped resources within and around me 
that will help me to rise above the prevailing darkness. I want you to lift up your voice. There may be a business that you can start from your house. There may be something that you can start doing. There may be something that God may open your eyes to see instead of what you used to have. So lift up your like that woman. That woman didn't know that the oil was in her house. She didn't, she didn't know that she could start business with the flower. She didn't know that she could start business. Some things are within us. Some things are around us. So lift up your voice and say, Father, by your mercies, open my eyes to the hidden and untapped resources within me that will help me to rise above the prevailing darkness. Lift up your voice and pray that, Father, by your mercy, brethren, let me tell you, I belong to different organizations, different uh, association network. People are making money. Despite the darkness, new businesses are surfacing. People are thinking inward. So I want you to pray that, Father, by your mercies, open my eyes to the hidden and untapped resources within and around me that will help me to rise above the prevailing darkness. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father Lord, we pray this morning that by your mercies, open our eyes, O God, to the hidden and untapped resources within and around us, Lord, that will help us to rise above this prevailing darkness, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, we pray. You're going to lift up your voice and pray that, Father, by your mercy, turn my nothingness to something and my something to abundance. In the name of Jesus, the Bible said the oil never wasted. Lift up your voice. The jar of me was not spent, nor the bottle of oil filled. Lift up your voice that, Father, by your mercy, turn my nothingness, Lord, to something and my something to abundance. In the mighty name of Jesus, Malikra Bakurima, the Bible says in Psalm 34 in verse 10, it says, even the strong and the wealthy, they grow weak and hungry, but those who passionately pursue the Lord will never lack any good thing. Begin to declare this morning, the Father, by your mercy, turn my nothing to something and my something to abundance. And let me not lack anything. Let my vision not lack provision. Let my family not lack anything. In the name of Jesus, begin to tell him, Lord, by your mercy. I don't know how you make it happen. The God that sends uh, the, the Elijah to the widow, that God is still alive. That God is still living. He has not died. So lift up your voice that, Father, I don't know how you bring me out of this pit of financial distress. I don't know how you will help me out. But, Lord, I'm asking for that help this morning. So by your mercy, oh, Lord, turn my so nothingness to something, oh, God, and my something to abundance, Lord, in the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, amen. You're going to lift up your voice and pray. Still praying that prayer. Number one, you ask God that Lord help me to prioritize. Oh God, my time is over. Help me to prioritize. Oh God, your kingdom business and by your mercy, show me anything I need to do to escape the dark season in the mighty name of Jesus. And if you have any personal request, you can make it right now. I have just one minute. Lift up your voice, make your personal request unto God in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. Before we go, finally, because it's already 6 o'clock, I want us, please, if you're, if you're on YouTube, even if you are not on YouTube, we want you to... Uh, subscribe to our youtube channel um because of time i cannot explain so much today but subscribe to our youtube channel if you write my name damola treasure okay on youtube you will get it write it like that damola treasure okay la. you will get it on youtube subscribe and share our youtube every day we have daily podcast as we are breaking down the world into smaller pieces so that you can follow us through the year and also uh, we have resources that you can buy from our website. Just type dto20.com. You get to website. You will have the book. Especially, we recommend the book Aflame for this year. It will help you. It has a wealth of information. Hallelujah. Let's make declaration before we go this morning. We want to declare that by, by mercy, my adversity is turning to a stepping stone for my advancement. By mercy. My adversity is turning to a stepping stone for my advancement. 
and so shall it be in the name of jesus father we thank you this morning as we go into the business world into the marketplace we thank you because you have gone ahead of us we thank you lord because you will direct us you will lead us you will guide us we thank you lord almighty because you are our shepherd lord we give you all the glory and all the honor in the mighty name of jesus hallelujah we declare that no one will embark on a journey of no return even today in jesus name hallelujah let's share the grace and fellowship may the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god and the sweet fellowship of the holy spirit be with us now and forevermore amen surely god's goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and i shall dwell in the house of the lord forever and ever and ever amen hallelujah let's go and prosper in the mighty name of jesus let's go and prosper in the name of jesus hallelujah hallelujah amen amen praise the lord praise the lord amen oh.